This is an update to the Four Big Lies video part two that I had done on Dell. I want to show having selected smart selection ready to ship, which of the work laptops Dell is got ready to ship rather than you know well, just so that you can see what they think is going to sell. See, I, I guess I should explain this. If it's smart selection ready to ship, that means that Dell has prepackaged configurations of laptops that it thinks people want to buy. So then that tells you what they think is selling as the operating system. Okay, so now let's look at what that is. Latitude 12 7000 Ultrabook. What's the version? Windows 7. And guess what's not supported? Windows 10. If you want Windows 10 on it, you got to get it yourself. Which means that that invalidates your warranty, of course. All right? That's the standard terminology for any computer that you buy. If you change the operating system that came from the factory, then your whole warranty is no longer valid because they can't be responsible for what the new OS does to the old OS the old system that you got. Okay, all they warrant is that what they sent you from the factory is good. Okay? So, they're not shipping Windows 10. They're shipping Windows 7. Now, how can they do that? Through downgrade rights. It's in Windows 10 license, uh, paragraph 7, that you're allowed to have any other version of Windows that's covered which is Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 on your machine that's a new machine. This is the only way that they can even legally sell Windows 7 anymore. Okay? They're not allowed to sell it new on a new machine per their agreement with Microsoft unless it's through downgrade rights. Which means that they they don't see themselves being able to sell Windows 10. See, look, look. Smart selection ready to ship. This is their own decision at Dell about how to package their own machines for sales. What kind of packaging do they feel they need to put on them? Okay, well, they feel that they're, they can prepackage their Latitude 12 7000 Ultrabook at 1500 with an i5, but with Windows 7, not Windows 10. Okay, not only that, but you got your latitude 14. See, this is 12 inches, 14 inch. So it's just going to be the screen difference. Again, Windows 7. Again, latitude 15 inch, Windows 7. Latitude 14, Windows 7. Now, what I got to tell you, I wish I had known this two, three, four years ago. If I had known that they would be selling Windows 7 now, I wouldn't have bought 10 machines with Windows 7 on it. I think it's 10. Might be 8. Six laptops. No, it's 8. Six laptops and two um, desktops. Between two and four years ago, that's what I did because I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to get Windows 7 anymore. But Windows 8 sold so badly that they're using downgrade rights to Windows 7. And the same thing is true for Windows 10. Now, what I'm going to try to do in this video, and I don't know if I'll succeed, is I want to know if they have run out of their Windows 8 licenses. Because Windows 8 allows you to use downgrade rights to also. I want to see if they're using the Windows 10 license in order to install Windows 7, which means that they would be running out of their Windows 8.1 licenses. That's what I want to know. I don't know the answer to that right now. Okay, But obviously from what you can see here, they're selling Windows 7 pre-installed. Now, these are latitudes. Latitudes are business laptops. They're not consumer. I do not recommend that you buy any consumer level machine from any manufacturer because the quality is too low. 
And for the prices, you're still paying about the same thing. So why not just get the business version? Business version is designed to be sold um, to business. In fact, most of the time what happens is business leases business laptops. And then after two, three years, they return them to Dell. Dell cleans them up and then sells them at DellAuction.com. So Dell makes these machines to last. So you want business machines. Okay, but then they're also saying, well, what will sell that will last? Windows 7, even though five years from now, the updates are going to stop. Yeah, so what? You just plug in a Linux stick every time you want to go online. That's no loss. You can still keep your Windows 7 for as long as the machine works. And if it's new, it's going to be working for quite a long time, much more than five years. I mean, my, I've got Dell machines that are over 20 years old. Okay, in fact, all of my Dell machines are... No, some of my Dell machines are like eight years old, but some are 20, over 20. My Dell Dimensions and my Inspiron are over 20 years old. And those are consumer level machines, but the business are much better. Okay, so here you go. All right, now I could go on, but you get the point. Laptops, see up here at the top, you got products. Well, how do we do this? I hate the Dell website now because it's so confusing. And they got this moving thing. It's totally destructive to wanting to buy anything. See, laptops and two-in-ones for work. That's what we were just at. But you have to wait forever because under the new management of whoever's doing the Dell website, they're doing it so badly that you have to wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. It's slow. It's clunky. It's horrible. I hate, I hate coming to Dell websites now. It used to be a good website to come to. Now it's crappy. But there you go. Okay. I don't know what happened. Configurable. These are the ones that are configurable. We're, we're switching around. Dell Latitude 15. Okay, let's have a look at the Latitude 15. With their crappy websites. It's really hard to navigate. It's really hard to find any information out. you got way too much white space. Just fire whoever designed the web, the web pages for Dell. If their sales are going down, that's a big reason why. I can't stand to stay here for more than five minutes now. Little tiny print here and way huge white space. So you can't find the answer to your question. You have to scroll, 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 scroll. And then you have to stick your nose in the machine. Okay. I-5. See, they take too long. They, 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 it, it takes you too long to find out basic stuff. So whoever designed this, just fire them. I don't even want to stay here to tell you what's going on. Okay, Operating system. This one has Windows 10 in English, French, and Spanish. So that's for the Latitude 3000. Configurable. Okay, So now we got operating system help me choose. Because that's what I really want to focus on. Okay, so these are the different choices. So now let's look at Windows 7. Okay, so the downgrade rights are still from Windows 8.1. That's what I wanted to know. Okay, so they still have excess Windows 8 licenses. Okay, so their Windows 7 machine on this machine is a Windows 8 license. Okay. So now I got to go back and see if I can check on the prepackaged ones if they're still using Windows 8 license. And I don't know the answer to that. But for the Latitude 3000, the configurable one, they're using 8.1 license. How do you go home? Such a stupid, irritating website. I hate this website. Okay, so now let's look at Smart Selection Ready to Ship. This is back where we were. So now what we want to do is see if we can find details. Mm -hmm. 
and I don't see that. So I'm going to shut the video off for a moment.